What up, though, homies and homies? It's your homeboy, Grand Tizzle. Welcome back to the lab. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscription button and that notification bell, because you're going to like what we got going on over here. You ain't going to want to miss not one second of madness your homie Grand Tizzle got in store for you. Now, in our last session, we learned how to put this idea together. But in this session, we're about to learn how to get that animation popping. Let's get it. All right, time for the fun stuff. Let's go ahead and import our Photoshop file into After Effects. So let's uh, import that Cardi B, make sure that they are edible, and the size is going to be the composition size as well. So let's double click that, open it up, and now we good to go. Let's go ahead and um, select her as a whole layer, because we got three separate versions. We got the top, the bottom, and then we got her. So let's go ahead and start dropping our, adding our shadows. So we're going to go to perspective and go down to drop shadow. The first shadow is going to be set at falling behind her. Here, let me zoom in. All right. So we'll take our opacity, uh, let's say up to 73. And um, let's put our direction at, let's say, 195. And then uh, let's put our distance at, uh, let's say, 11. All right, that's good. And then let's put our softness here at uh, 28.5. All right, we got something good happening. Now let's select it, hold Control D, make another copy. And then we will turn this down a little bit or slightly adjust this. So let's set up our opacity here to say like 82. And uh, let's set our um, our arrow in the same direction. Let's set our distance at, um, let's say 16.3. Yes, that's good. And then let's set our softness to like uh, 40. 8.2. All right, that's good. Now uh, we got something decent going on here. All right, um, don't worry about the shadow around her. We're going to fix that up with some masking and some um, some other backup layers. All right, so let's go ahead and get the puppet tool going on. So let's go ahead and uh, while we have that layer selected, let's pick our puppet tool and let's start locking her in. So we're going to start off with the head. Now, what we want to do, you'll notice when I cl click that head, you see a little line behind the shadows. So to get rid of that line behind the shadow, you should move the puppet above the shadows here. So now that line is gone. So we keep our shadows solid. All right, so let's go ahead and finish locking her down. So we got the puppet tool. We, we're locking these down so that it won't move when we start adding animation to it or forcing... Um, forcing her legs and stuff to move. Now we're gonna animate this as well. So we're gonna leave this for last. Okay, and um, seem like we kinda got everything locked. So we wanna make sure that um, the animation kinda start at the knee. So we wanna lock it at the knee. We also may wanna lock it like here and here. So then when we get to moving this, uh, everything stays in place. Okay, so uh, now what we're going to do is this last uh, uh, button, or should I say this last pin that I use is going to be the pin we use to animate. So if you go over here to mesh, you will see that we have um, the deforms, but you see the pins. So notice when I click the pin here, you'll see a new pin pop up there. We're going to click it maybe around here. So you see we got another 22. So we're gonna go ahead and um, that's already selected. A keyframe is already there. Now we move up just a few frames and then we do our swing. All right, that looks good. I'll try to go as far as I can without it starting to look distorted. All right, after a little bit of trial and error, I found my little 
I found a nice smooth transition here. So what we're gonna do here, instead of copying these all the way down, we're gonna put a loop expression on this. So we're gonna hold Alt and click the um, button there, click the stopwatch, and we're going to hit this little arrow here and go down here to property and go up to um, loop out duration. I don't think you can see that. I apologize to you if you can't. And what's gonna happen is now when I hit play, it's just gonna loop out. And that's a nice, decent, you know what I'm saying? Square dealing, uh, little swing, nice little swing. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to get rid of the shadows. So what you wanna do, and you also wanna keep in mind, you wanna do these effects before, yeah, so this is Cardi Top, all right? So we're gonna mask off the top. But you wanna do the effects before you start doing the masking because it's going to affect how everything um, plays out, all right? So here we go. And before we go further, we're gonna go and invert this mask, okay? And there we have it. And then let's go ahead and continue the mask. Now this mask, uh, you know, you can kinda move it how you want it, you know? I want a little bit like that. And uh, that should be uh, pretty good. All right, that's looking much more corporal static. So you're gonna wanna just work around it a little bit, right? So, uh, so we got a little something. Let me um, fit that. Let's play it back. And that's it. Last but not least, I'm gonna show you how to export it. You should already know how to export it, but I'm gonna show you anyway. I like to do everything lossless. We're not gonna resize. We're gonna keep everything as is. And I don't like to put no um, codex or nothing on mine. We export it out, we save it. Render it out. Render it out as a movie file. And then you might want to use something like Handbrake to shrink it down so that you can upload it to Instagram. If you think you might be interested in some other graphic design tutorials, make sure you check out our flyer style design tutorials and you can find that link in the description. All right, thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to sub, like, and hit that bell so you won't miss a beat of that heat that I bring to my lead. Till the next time. See you in a minute. See you when I spin it. Peace. Help.